magicians don't usually have a definition for magic. It's, we, we, all, we often fumble with the words, including me. Uh, and then I started looking through the dictionary, and the dictionary says, tricks. Magic is tricks, you know? Or magic is presentation. Or magic is sleight of hand. Magic is about fooling people. But when I looked at regular people walking around, talking about magical moments in their life, it never had anything to do with that definition. What is that magic moment that they are describing? When they talk about their first love, that's a magical moment. When they climb a mountain, they never thought they could climb and achieve something they never thought they could achieve. Wow, that's magic. Where did I mention trick? So I thought, I have to come up with a new definition. And this is my definition. Magic is an overwhelming experiential moment of awe-aspiring astonishment from having witnessed something beyond our comprehension. Nowhere do I say trick. Magic is a way of life. The great Japanese magician Tenkai Ishida said, magic is not tricks, it is a way. So what is the job of the trick? The trick is the tool so that I can uh, reach that magical moment. And when we do that, we reach a point where they either want to laugh or they want to cry, but they always feel. Hence, magic. When we're born and we're infants and toddlers and we're growing up, our mind is, you know, blank. It's a blank slate. And as we progress through life, we learn things. And we put those things in little categories, in little boxes. Uh, for instance, a kid will touch a hot stove and the hand will automatically recoil. And then the kid goes, okay, stove's hot. I'm going to put that in, my, in this box, things not to touch, hot. And we sort of collect as we grow up these little boxes of categories in our minds. When people are confronted with magic, something that is impossible, but they're right there. They're watching, it's not on TV, they're live. When that happens, those boxes go away. You don't have a box to put it in. And so for that brief moment, there's no boxes and you're back to that state of, of childhood and what Doug Henning called this state of wonder. It's about more than just the inner child. You know, magic is an attempt to stay one step ahead of human knowledge. It's about staying one step ahead of human understanding, of the human concept of the world and how it operates. See, I think magic uh, reminds us of certain things that we are in danger of forgetting in a highly industrial society like the one we live in. Magic says to you, um, life is full of surprises. The hat was empty and now there's a rabbit inside. Magic just conceptually is important because, you know, even as our horizons are expanding in terms of what is possible in this world, dancing on the edge, dancing a little bit beyond what we know could really happen is a wonderful thing. It's a, it's a beautiful part of the human condition. Magic does not happen on the stage or in the magician's hands or in the props. Magic happens only in one place and that is in the mind of the spectator.